Before we head into the video, I'd love to give a shout out to the sponsor of the channel, RL Exchange. Now, RL Exchange is a great way to buy Rocket League items and credits on any platform at the cheapest prices so that you can build your dream setup. Make sure to go and check out their website using the top link in the description and use code TXC to get yourself 3% off your order. How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be opening golden crates in Rocket League. I've got one of each sort of crate so I'm not going to be opening golden egg 19, 20, 21 but I've got golden egg 23, golden gift 22 so I've got a variant of each of the golden crates and we're going to be opening all of those and seeing which is actually the best to open in Rocket League. Just before we do get into the video, I'd like to mention I'm currently giving away a White Octane over on my Discord server. The link is in the description down below if you would like to join up. I do this every 1,000 subscribers, so make sure to subscribe if you want to be in with the chance of winning yourself a free White Octane. But we're going to get straight into this. I'm going to start at the uh, at the start of the list, as you should, opening the Golden Egg 23, one of the most recent crates. And I'm not actually sure what my luck was like when I opened these. I believe I opened these. I'm not going to lie. They all just merged together. I've completely forgotten what the most recent crate actually was but so far we've got two rares in a row which isn't the best opening to a video so hopefully it does improve a little bit i'm looking to get uh, at least one black market maybe one exotic and um i don't know what crate i opened in my last crate opening but i did know or i do know rather that uh, it took me like 119 crates to get a black market which isn't ideal i've only got 35 here today so hopefully i'll be able to get a little bit luckier than that and uh, we, we are getting an import that's pretty decent it's gonna be the orange fsl they don't look too bad again i've got no idea how much they're worth but we're gonna be moving on to the golden gift 22 um I'm not going to lie, I did just buy the cheapest version of each crate I could. I'm trying to save a little bit of credits, and I've still spent almost 10,000 credits on this video. So, please do drop a like, because these are not cheap whatsoever. But we do get an import, so already as good as the last one. And I do get a Forest Green Ninja Star, which actually matches my car. So, I'm going to equip that. That's pretty cool. We have three golden gifts left to go. And, um... So far, we've had two imports, a few very rares, orange shack rams, and I did actually buy these crates in about five minutes. It was so quickly, it was so quick. I used OP Market. I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but they're pretty popular right now on PC and PlayStation. They're coming to other platforms as well, but I believe they use bots to uh, to sort of allow you to buy and sell items it's pretty weird but is it's sort of gonna revolutionize rocket league trading so it's pretty cool and uh, yeah as i mentioned it took me about five minutes to get these crates it was so quick but now we're moving on to the golden gift basket um again i don't think i've actually opened any of these before but we do get an import octane snake skin not too great but um an import is an import and uh, i'm not gonna lie i'm just doing this for a bit of fun and I've got to say, I'm, I'm going to call out Coral Coke here. I bought all of these. I'm not using a mod to, to open all of these crates. I bought them all with my credits. This uh, this has come out of my Rocket League account. So as I mentioned, please do drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications if you want more golden crate openings in the future as well. But I'm not going to... Well, I, I say I'm not going to fake any videos. Modding isn't faking videos. But I, I guess the luck changes with modded crates. We get an exotic. It is going to be... Oh, Infiniums, Orange Infinite. You know what? Infinium, underrated wheel. I actually love them. And um, I've got some painted ones, so I'm not going to complain with that whatsoever. Best crate so far is going to be the golden... What was that? The basket that I just opened. My memory is absolutely terrible. But I'm not going to complain because that was pretty good. And um, I've had quite a few imports. I'm not going to lie. The import luck is pretty good. Imperator DT5 in purple. That's pretty cool. Don't think I've ever had one of those before. Don't know if it's worth anything, but... Again, it does look pretty cool, and that is probably the best import we've had so far, I guess. And we've got two golden lanterns left to go. I believe when I opened these, my luck was absolutely terrible. So I'm not expecting anything too great out of these. And as I say that, we get a rare. So, titanium my tactician, though. Okay, maybe, maybe I spoke a bit too soon. We have one left to go. If we get some good luck here, maybe it's good. We do get a very rare. It's going to be friction, unpainted, not too great. But now we're going to be moving on to the next crate, which is the Golden Moon. We're actually moving through these really quickly. And uh, I do like to open crates, but they are very expensive, so I can't do them too often. I guess if I did mod them, I could do them like every day. But um, I did one modded video a while ago, and it was a 10 of 10 on, uh, on YouTube. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but in simple terms, 
it didn't do too great. So, yeah, not ideal. So, I don't like to mod crates. I like to do them legit. And it's more fun like this because I actually get to keep the items. And also, I just want to ask you guys real quick. Let me know what you think of the content recently. I've been mixing up, uh, I've been mixing it up a little bit with Alpha Cap videos and then a different video. I've done uh, a few more exposing scammers videos, which I love. The, the recent one did pretty well as well. You guys seem to enjoy it. I believe it's over 2,000 views, which for me is pretty good. We're also moving on to the Golden Pumpkin. And the, uh, the, the last time I opened these, I got some really good luck. So hopefully we can replicate that today day not great uh, get, getting a rare in the first one but yeah as i said i'm trying to mix up the content a little bit i've also recently uploaded a trade-up video that actually went up today as i'm recording this video i've made three videos today uh, i'm on the grind i made a couple alpha cap videos and this one so three all together but Alpha Cap's going pretty well. Trading's been decent recently. I'm grinding. Right now, my inventory on my Nothing to Something account is just past 70,000 credits, I believe, which is not bad whatsoever. We're definitely making some good progress on there. So I can't really complain. Trading's are looking up right now. Also, the holidays have, I believe, just begun in the UK. Uh, for most people, Forest Green Glitch Wheels as well. They're not too bad. We are on to the last crate as well, the Golden Toolkit. Hopefully, we can get something good in here as well. But, um... Hopefully over the holidays trading will, uh, will be really good. I'm going to absolutely, um, I, I'm going to sweat out the nothing to something. Hopefully I can get loads of pre, uh, videos pre-recorded for that as well. Get another import. The import luck today is not bad whatsoever. I, I don't know why I thought that was a gold. Twinder is not a thing, but I'll take it. And uh, yeah, I'm looking to get around a week ahead in videos so I can have uh, so, so I can relax a little bit. As I said, I've made three videos today. So yeah, it's, it's looking good, but I still have quite a bit of grinding to do. We do get Sentio splashback. Nobody uses the Sentio, let alone a decal for it. So n th that, that wasn't too great, but that's going to be the last crate. And we do get a very rare Titanium Y Reapers. Are you kidding me? Bro, that actually worth something? Okay, Titanium Y Reapers. Hold on. Um, last time I tabbed out on a, on a crate opening, you guys saw KSI, so hopefully I can edit that a little bit better. But Titanium White Reapers, what it the chances of that is insane. 1.3 thousand credits. That is literally more expensive than most black markets I probably could have got out of this. Titanium White Reapers. Um, that's insane. What a pull on the last crate as well. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe for that because that was crazy. We do have a few trade-ups to do. I'm not gonna do too many. I'll tell you what, we'll do a couple import too exotic were I, I can do one so i'm gonna quickly trade that up hopefully the purple imperator isn't worth too much i, I don't know it might be but we're just gonna do one trade up too exotic we'll see what we get draco imagine they were painted that would have been sick unfortunately they're not I'm, I'm actually gonna do another quick trade up we're gonna do all of these sky blue voltaic they shouldn't be worth too much but i am gonna be trading up those infiniums which i kind of want to keep but it's for the content so you know 100 likes and i'll do more of these videos but there we go thanks so much for watching to the end of the video make sure to uh what, what, what can you comment uh titanium white reaper comment that down below if you've watched this far let's go for 100 likes and i'll see you in the next one peace out